shooting on target number one, representing Ukraine, Oleksii Kutmin. And his opponent, shooting on target number two, representing Ukraine, Georgi Ivanitsky. The line judge for this matchup is Christina Tiffiu. Well, there we have it. Well, Ukraine the two going Ukrainians up going up against each other. The world number 87, Alexei Hunbin, who's a world medalist, up against his teammate, the 179, Jorge Ivansky. So two Ukrainians duking out. Now, we've been told that Ukraine have decided that they will not use this event as the decider as to who will take one Olympic spot. But hey, Nikki, a win here is all important, isn't it? Absolutely. You want to show your federation you're the best archer and you should be sent to the Olympic Games. Uh, good start from Hunbin. Just three arrows per set here. The target score of six points. Nine. No. All square after two arrows, so a crucial third arrow now from Hunbin. So they've matched each other there. The idea in the set system for recurve archers is to get the highest score over the three arrows. Here it's drawn, so it'll be one point apiece after the first set. Nikki, are you seeing any difference here, given the fact that it's not raining today and the sun is shining? Yeah, the sun is out, so some sunglasses on, which help with some of the glare. You know, it's important for their string picture, so with the, string be with the sun beating down, the string might look a little bit larger than usual, so that might affect what they see of the string picture. Um, but, you know, in this match, it shouldn't change during that time. So once they've got the right picture, they know what to look for, there should be no changes throughout the match. Well, both the archers have coach behind them and let's not underestimate the importance of this match yes ukraine have said they're not going to use this as the head-to-head -head playoff for the one olympic spot for ukraine but there's some certain bragging rights here and of course the winner can go on and win this tournament and that will give them a very strong case for the one ukrainian spot one apiece after the first set. So we'll move on to set number two. Both these archers taking a bit longer, aren't they? At full draw, longer holds. They get 20 seconds each to shoot their arrows. Another 28 from Hunbin. Much longer hold here from Ivansky. 
Ooh, just on the line and 228 again as in the first set so two apiece you mentioned the longer hold Nikki is that because you think there's a little bit more wind here at the moment I think pressure more than anything else that last hour we just saw from Avant Sky you know he was soaring on the edge of the clicker you could just see a little bit of movement of the arrow the clicker just sort of moving in and out a little bit he just couldn't get through so the nerves are here you know these guys know how much is at stake they know they need to impress their federation to make sure they book their own ticket uh, to the Olympics so yeah he just needs to settle into it keep his movement keep his flow and, and keep that timing going yeah it's interesting as well when you look at both of these archers in between the sets they're really stretching out now you're a physio by trade um, is that a bit of a surprise given the fact that they have been shooting for a few days here I think it's the tension, you know, when you are under pressure, the intensity increases, the holds increase, you're putting more pressure through those muscles, hence why they're probably stretching out a bit, they're definitely feeling the pressure. Two set points apiece, we go into the third. Just outside the ten ring there. Third 28 in a row for Alexi Hunbin. And that's the first 29 we've got, and a clear set point win for Evan Sky, who goes 4 2 up. He has a chance to do this in four sets. Nikki, without the rain, already we can see the scores and the consistency of hitting the centre of the target is much higher. It really is. You know, that 10 is the size of a CD, so it's a really high level, over 70 metres to be hitting it, but that's the standard these guys are at. And, you know, Vance Sky, again, we saw a little bit of longer hold on that last arrow, didn't we? A little bit longer than his others compared to those. Um, but I feel for Humbin there, you know, who's only just outside the 10 on his second arrow, so tight, tight margins in this. Yeah, it certainly is, but the quality is incredibly high. Who would want to be a Ukrainian selector for the Olympic Games when these two, uh, well, there's just one point between them in terms of their total scores. But Ivanskai with the advantage, 4-2 up, it will be Alexei Hunbin to shoot first in set number four. So all about putting the pressure on with these big scores. Eight. Oh, the first one dropped into the eight there. Twenty-eight again, that's four in a row, but a chance here to take it with a ten. Seven, seven. Oh, snapped it out into the seven. Is that just about pressure then, Nikki? 
I think so. A longer hold again, a bit more movement. Just watch that clicker, you know, the arrow underneath the clicker, a bit of movement there. And yeah, I just think, you know, that shot might, could, could mean that he would take that Olympic ticket. So the pressure is absolutely immense. Again, stretching out. They've just been in tightness and tension in this match. So much at stake. Yeah, you may well know who's going to the Olympic Games or who's got the quota places, which countries have attained them. But this is perhaps the most critical of the four quarterfinals with two Ukrainians going up against each other and only one spot available. We're starting to see some errors creeping in. Four apiece after four sets. One more regulation set to go. It's going to go to a shoot-off, isn't it, Nikki? <laughs> Love a shoot-off. Let's have two more 28s and uh, have one arrow closer to the centre. That would be, that'd be amazing. Well, time for the fifth set here. Quarterfinals in Paris on the last qualifying day for Tokyo 2020. And that's drifted out to the left-hand side. Opportunity again for Advanced Sky. So a chance Eight. here to put this out of reach. And that is the 10 he needed, a 28 it is for Hunbin. Ivansky can only get a 27. And shoots a 9 for a 26. And the two step points and the win go to Alexei Hunbin. And I wonder how telling that win will be especially if Hunbin could go even deeper into the competition. Hunbin through to the semi-finals here in Paris. Wow, that was all about tension, wasn't it? And who could hold their nerve? And it looked like Avant Sky was going to take this in four sets, but pulled out a seven. Yeah, he really had the opportunity there. You know, of these two, he's the lower world rank and maybe he felt the pressure that, you know, if he could have won this match, that could give him that special thing for the Federation that, you know, would mean he won the spot and he could go. But, wow, so much pressure on it. I think in the last end, both arrows dropping low left and I think the wind was just a little bit, uh, you know, we could see from the flags were moving a little bit more that way. I think he was probably a little bit unlucky with those, didn't adjust, didn't make the, the, the adjustments in where to aim that he needed to and, uh, yeah a win for Hanbin.